Rapper PNB Rock fatally shot at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles in Los Angeles report by David Proper and Marjorie Hernandez for NewYorkPost.com, published on September 12th, 2022. Rapper PNB Rock was shot dead during a robbery at a Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles in Los Angeles Monday, according to a report. I've been to L.A. one time. I ate at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles wasn't that good my opinion that's just my opinion the fatal shooting of the philadelphia native occurred around 1 23 p.m at the popular chain restaurants inglewood location the los angeles times reported citing law enforcement sources and the lapd for anybody clicking this video thinking i'm going to show the video that's going viral of him laying on the ground covered in blood after being shot i'm not going to show that because i don't like black death pornography los angeles police captain kelly munez told the newspaper the suspect waved a gun inside the eater and demanded items from the victim. The rapper's jewelry was targeted. Law enforcement sources told the LA Times. Many people come onto my channel uh, attacking me for my views on the Second Amendment when I just want all Americans to be able to live peacefully in our country. But we can never live at peace as long as we allow guns to continue to permeate and proliferate throughout society. Yes, criminals will do criminal things. Criminals will find guns. But there are criminals in other countries, such as Canada, Germany, France, Spain, Portugal, Italy, etc. We do not have the level of violence, the murder rate that those countries have, or the number of mass shootings. Over 500 mass shootings have happened in 2022 alone, and also many, many more Countless other people have become senseless victims of gun violence uh, and have paid with their life or have been seriously injured because of it. And now PNB Rock, a famous, rich black man, is now another victim. And all people are going to say is, well, he should have been strapped or shouldn't have been caught lacking. Stupid Americans with this stupid concept that everybody needs to walk around with a gun because apparently we live in some anarchic dystopian state where at any time at any place you can be the victim of gun violence so you need a gun so you can inflict the violence before somebody else does it to you it's senseless it's not this is not indicative of a civilized society this gun culture that exists in america he shot the victim and ran out of the side door to a getaway car and then fled the parking lot, Munez reportedly said. The rapper, whose real name is 30, uh, whose real name is 30 year old Rakim Hashim Allen. That's a real, real, that's a weird way to write that sentence. Whose real name is 30 year old Rakim Hashim Allen. Anyway, I didn't know he was named after Rakim. Rakim inspired a lot of people. He's one of the greatest rappers to ever live. And I think ASAP Rocky also shares that name as well. So peace to the god Rakim. So uh, Rash Rakim Hashim Allen was rushed to a nearby hospital after he was shot and was pronounced dead at 2 p.m. Police said Rock was with his girlfriend at the restaurant, according to an Instagram post that included a location tag photo. The L.A. Times reported many people on social media are attacking his girlfriend, saying that she was the reason he was caught lacking or he or she was the reason he uh, uh, they were able to get the drop on him and come up and try to rob him or shoot him. Maybe, maybe so. I don't know, and I don't care. What I do know is that in other countries and in other places, people do get robbed. People do attempt robberies or even attempt murders, but they do not have the ability to do it so easily as they do in the United States because guns don't flood their society. In a Monday night statement from Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, the chain said it was deeply saddened over Rock's death. His passing represents an enormous loss to each and every one of us. Our most heartfelt condolences, thoughts and prayers go to the Allen family. I hate that phrase, thoughts and prayers, so much to the Allen family at this difficult time, the statement said. The safety of our employees and guests are our utmost priority. We have and will continue to keep our place of business as safe as possible. Rock, who gained national fame in 2015, is best known for a single selfish that reached number 51 on the Billboard Hot 100. So now I have to say the famous quote from Rated R from Thug Life, who said, and all we're going to do is get messed up and get tossed up, reminiscing how we grew up. And that's all we can say. PNB Rock was a man a little bit younger than me. I turned 32 tomorrow. And this man was about two years younger than me and lost his life after achieving so much in it. Why? Because in America, we are obsessed with the gun. How many more of our great talented poets, which are which our rappers are, will we lose? We lost Tupac. We lost Biggie. We lost XXX Tentacion and so so many others, such as Big L to senseless gun violence. Some people are saying that out there in the streets, people are just wilding. They're just going crazy and everybody's just shooting up stuff. 
I believe also in the rap industry right now, in the game, there's a lot more gangsters and actual thugs in it. I'm not saying PMP was a thug or a gangster at all, but I'm just saying a lot of the violence that now surrounds rappers because rappers of my generation died way more than they did in the 90s. I was born in 1990, so my generation is about 2003 and up when I start, first started getting into hip hop. But a lot of my favorite rappers got shot or died. Because I think a lot more people are in the rap industry now than they were in the past. I'm not saying PMV was a gangster or a thug or he deserved this because none of nobody deserves this to die the way he did. But I think there are in, the industry is getting so big and so many people are coming into the industry now with street ties and connections that it's hard to disassociate from that or the criminal element cannot be disassociated with it. I'm not attacking hip hop because in the music industry uh, since the beginning, since the inception of the American music industry gangsters thugs and criminals have dominated that industry all of the top executives all of the major record labels were started by gangsters and thugs so please don't anybody take this message and think i'm attacking pnb rock i'm not saying that was him i'm just saying that i think the constant level of violence that we're seeing in the in the rap game now with so many rappers getting shot at or killed is because so many actual real gangsters are in the industry now if that makes sense so rest in peace to pmb rock let's abolish the second amendment let's make america a safer place for all of us and uh let's hope that uh for the rest of 2022 we don't lose another great artist my name was simon hill thank you for watching